He just he can't get off two punches. I mean, that is a mark of a shot fighter when you can't get off punches. Oh, if, oh a beautiful right hand. Down goes the short, chopping right hand. There it is. Right on. You look at the body. He turns his body into this punch. This is so typical of, of Tyson when he punches well. It's just as a heavyweight is not small. He's six foot three, 231 pounds. Oh, big oh. right. There goes Eklund. <laughs> of Eklund, Hawk and Brock did just that to his opponent. And it is Eklund who pays the price. He gets it back from Witherspoon. What a shot by Witherspoon. And it decks and knocks Eklund out. Explosive right pressures off Hope's jaw. Isolated camera. Hope crumbles. I saw it in the replay that Donald Curry's hands were down. You see, he's not going straight back. Left, right, left hook. Beautiful shot. Took a step to his left, just exactly as you were saying a moment ago he should be doing. Exactly. So it took a while. Figure Shane Mosley came up with some of that old 12th round magic. And he knocked him down again to finish the fight. And now the end. Mayorga getting up from the knockdown, and Shane Mosley walks in and says, eat this. A left hand. Durant fights off the ropes. Right. Oh, oh, he's out. He's out. out. He's out. He was out before he hit the can. He doesn't know where he is. Ah, uh, here's the cruncher. There it is. There's the jab by Nonito Donaire at working well. Oh my! Oh, look out! Darjeeling down for the first time. Yeah. Started to land the counter left the hand, and here it would come in dramatic fashion again, lunging in Darjeeling as he has not concerned about the defeated streak. And as he lunges in, you'll see the right hand very low for Darchini, keeps it very low, walks into a left hook, and that unalterably changed this fight and ended it. Burgess making it difficult for him. Oh, so that is a shot. big shot by Jones, and a terrific shot. Hill may not be able to get it. rib, now watch the shot by Jones. And immediately, Hill is grabbing that area. That is such a sensitive area, and he got nailed. Dave, that, uh, to me, that's a legal punch. What do you think? Sure. It is. Caught him right on the rib cage. Virgil Hill said. Can Jefferson come down? Can he stay on his feet? Oh, that's oh. it. Oh, what a left that's hook it. shot. That oh, is no. It. No count necessary. He went to the body when nothing else was open, and that left hook was just good night. Because Luma used to straight up throwing the left hook, and there it was. And he was hurt, Jefferson. Yeah, he was hurt. He was hurt. Good he night, Maurice. Well, I asked you in the second or third round if he had time to go to the body, and you said yes, he did, if the cut man could keep his eyes open. They did their job, and he did his. Bingo. Excellent teamwork by Team Gatti. Body shots from Frotch. Groves trying to probe upstairs. Frotch getting the better of it when they meet in the center of the ring now. Oh, good and right down hand. goes Groves. Carl Frotch imagined this moment over and over and over these last seven months. 
as we said before the fight, a revenge motive for Groves, but a revenge motive for Frox, too. As surely as Groves was at rest for a few moments after this right hand. What a shot. Perfectly timed shot. Kids, don't keep your left hand on your hip in the middle of an exchange. Superb shot. Let's watch it again. Oh. Well, they don't come a lot better than that. Barry Jones described it as a world-class punch, and the moment it landed, he knew. He knew it. Get the shot off quickly and then move his legs and be ready to move his upper body too. Nice. Oh, beautiful right hook. Oh. Oh. Kyle Daniels hits the canvas and... Benji Estevez says it is a over. But he, as we continue to look at this replay, perfect right hook by... He was out standing up, Al, so he fell from five and a half feet on his head, so that's, uh, they'll obviously be very concerned about that. I got a question. You got any excuses tonight, Roy? Let's not ask questions like that. Let's test gloves and go to work. Tonight, Roy. Let's go to work. Found a way to be able to get a sustained attack against him. been hurt he's gone down before one time but there was a perfect left hand Roy never saw it coming Roy is out Marquez was off balance again now gets his feet back and tries to roar back the nail pack out with the right hand oh that's another knockdown you know, you know Jim, he get up he's not getting up when he's coming and here comes Marquez follow with the overhand right you see that Pacquiao Bear, missed right the right the hand. Pipe. He knew he was coming. He just caught his rhythm because that's what has scored. Since Sergio Martinez knocked out Paul Williams on November 20, 2010 in Atlantic City. Using every inch. Oh, what a punch! You'll be able to see um, that uh, you pack a fair old dig, Julian. No one's ever done that to him before. I knew that. Woo, that was a beauty. You the fight upside down, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. I know he was very, very confident, you know? He felt that. Big shot. Baptism at the end. That's a beautiful wow. left uppercut. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That and was the, super slow yeah, motion. Yeah, yeah. somebody like this since he was at 130 pounds. I know she's 18 and 0, 15 knockouts, but how many people were scared of her and did not really fight her? You could see that she was using the jab to set it up. There it is, right on the point of the chin, and that what creates Take a look at how it ends. Yeah. Williams throws a left, but Martinez beats him with the left. Shorter punch. Yeah, I thought it was a right hook. Shorter, shorter punch. Martinez's left got there first. And Williams was out from the moment the punch hit him. <laughs> 